From Krems to Boston. IMC Krems graduate Eva Fast talks about her international career. Why did you choose the IMC University of Applied Sciences Krems? When I was 18, I wasn't sure whether I wanted to be a researcher. But at school, I'd always been interested in sciences, especially maths and chemistry. So I thought to myself, OK, I'd like to study a subject that involves as many of the sciences as possible, because I didn't want to tie myself down and study just chemistry or just biology. Then, by chance, I found out about the university's degree program, so I decided to take a closer look. I applied and my application was accepted. What I enjoyed was that somehow, actually from day one, there was such a strong feeling of companionship, since we were the first group of students on the program. How did the IMC Krems help you get a foothold abroad? I just knew that I wanted to go abroad, maybe to the USA, because it became clear early on that researching over there was supposed to be excellent. And then, thanks to Dr. Schutt, I got in touch with the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. I was amazed at how much experience I was able to collect in CREMS, and the fact that the degree program included lots of practical laboratory work was a big help. You don't just learn to carry out experiments the way they're described in the protocol. You also find out how to plan, write the protocol, summarize the results, and then interpret what actually happened. So, on the whole, this internship abroad was really rewarding, and I would recommend that all students do something like that. If you have the opportunity and you're already studying in Krems, I'm sure it's still the case that everyone gives you personal support and helps you out, and it's important to take advantage of that network. And what about the future? I think that there are so many factors that have an influence, not just your career, but your family, relationships and things like that. And I mean, who knows, if everything falls into place, maybe I'll head back to Krems.